Hey, hello everybody. So we're back making rye. So I think there's a typo in this book. It says use a tablespoon of cumin seed. And you look over at the other dark rye recipe and it says use caraway seeds. And so I used cumin seeds and it made a very interesting tasting bread. We decided that the bread itself was delicious but the cumin didn't really go with it. So I went back to Harvest House and I got myself some caraway seeds. and. I'll be darned if that doesn't smell like rye. So you know what? We're going to do it again. And we're going to use the right kind of seed. Uh, the other thing I think I did wrong before was I think my lukewarm water was too warm. And I have a candy thermometer. I might as well use it. So this is just a little bit over 100 degrees. I think that's ready to go. So I'm going to put in my cup of half of water. So if you remember last time I made this, um, the big problem I had was it kind of overrose and then fell. So I don't want that <laughs> to happen. Uh, so it was probably because my water was too warm and the yeast got going a little too actively and they couldn't hold up the loaf. So let's keep it going here. Uh, we got the water in there. It says two teaspoons of lemon juice. So we have a teaspoon here. I was a little more organized, I'd have these pulled out. I did freshly squeeze some lemon, so that's ready to go. So two, two teaspoons of that. One. I think I got a little extra lemon in there. Yeah. You should probably measure that not over your, uh, not over your pan. Uh, let's see, what do we have here? Two tablespoons sunflower oil. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's keep it rolling. So this loaf came out really tasting very good. I'm happy with a lot of these recipes that come out and you say, wow, that actually tastes like bread. Uh, three cups white bread flour. One. Three more. Ah, ah, we have flour. All right. Kind of a slow morning, but let's make some bread, huh? I'm all over the place here. Uh, ba -ba. One and a quarter cups rye flour. Have myself some rye flour here from the harvest house. Use the half cup measure here. We'll do two of these. One. Two. Well, that's being uh, the one and a quarter cup rye flour. Make sure I put back the correct tag. Rye, there we go. We have the rye flour, one and a half teaspoons of salt.
Where's my salt at here? One. And you know me, I'm measuring poor. I'm going to end up using most of my measures by the time we're done here. So we're going to do one, two, three. I hear four eighths makes a half. There we go. Ah, one and a half tablespoons of brown sugar. Where's a half tablespoon here? We'll do three of these. Get my brown sugar over here. So I was surprised even the kids would eat the rye loaf, even with that uh, really strong uh, cumin seed in there. Everybody's like, I don't think I've ever heard of rye made with cumin. And I'm like, you know, I think you're right after eating this. I think this is like the second typo I found in this book. Oh well. It's probably hard to write a book that doesn't have typos. You look at the book all day long and everything looks the same. Alright. There we go. Who am I to criticize? Otherwise, the recipes are very good, so minus some typos here and there. All right, we got the sugar. Now for the one tablespoon cumin seed. You know what we're going to do? So we're going to pause this for a second because I need to toast it for a second. All right, so I wanted to show you how I'm going to do this. I just made myself a little foil packet, and this recipe calls for one tablespoon. Um, but I think, you know, based on how strong the... Uh, cumin tasted. I think we're going to do two-thirds. So I'm just going to use two teaspoons instead of a tablespoon. I'm going to give it a very light toasting. So what I'll do is I'll just kind of shake that across, spread it out, and then I'll lightly toast this. We'll come back out. Hey guys, I just want to give you a quick little thing about ingredients here. Uh, we have a place in Concord called Harvest House. It's like a little natural food store and they have bulk bins. I don't know how you feel about bulk bins, but uh, at my local Safeway, I can't even get rye flour. I looked, uh, looked through the selection there and they had, you know, whole wheat, white, you know, all-purpose bread flour, whatever, but they didn't have rye flour. And they certainly didn't have, there's a dark rye and a pumpernickel rye and all kinds of stuff over at the Harvest House. And then the other thing is, uh, go check out those places if you need some, uh, restock your um, herbs and seasonings because, um, this was organic, um, organic caraway seed, and I want to say it was like a little over a dollar uh, per ounce, whereas it would be five or six dollars an ounce over at Safeway. But at Safeway, it would come in a little glass container, but you know, I don't mind having it in a little baggie like this, and I have some spare glass containers. All I need to do is put a little piece of blue tape on it, and there we go. So 99 cents an ounce versus five dollars an ounce. So go to your local um, whole natural food places and check out their uh, bulk bin. Uh, they're not even, they're like these jars of spices and you just kind of scoop out what you need. So anyway, that's a good way to go and especially I couldn't even have found some of these ingredients uh, if I didn't get them over at the natural food store. Alright, if we can get in focus here. Uh, we're back, we're toasted. See if we can do this. Oh, this already smells like rye. I tasted that other bread and I was like, ah, oh, it's good, it's interesting. The bread certainly came out good, but I don't know about this uh, cumin seed. <laughs> so anyway, uh, last thing is one teaspoon fast acting yeast. We can do that. You know, I need to do is kind of create a little well in there. So has to make a little pocket for the yeast. Let's do that. Get in your home. There you go. All right, we're gonna be making bread momentarily. 
well, not quite momentarily, but fairly quickly. You know what I think I'm going to do first, folks, is clean out the bottom of my bread machine a little bit. Uh, I notice every time that it goes to the uh, cook phase, there's like smoke. <laughs> and if you look on the bottom here, there gets to be an accumulation of built up flour and stuff. So I'm going to give that a little scrape and tap it out before we uh, pop this in. I'll come back to you in a second. All right, we'll see if that cuts down on the smoke a little bit. Gave it a little clean and a tap and blew it out a little bit. And make sure that's fully seated at the bottom. One time I got it in there and uh, set it to go and it wasn't fully seated and it was just sitting there not really spinning. All right, we're gonna do this uh, basic medium crust. That's number two on my machine. It's mixing. All right, we'll come back in two hours and 50 minutes and eat some, no, actually we gotta wait an hour after that, darn. Anyway. We're going to come back and eat some rye bread real soon. See you soon. All right, let's get back to it. I'll tell you, everybody, it smells delicious in here. I went into the garage and came back upstairs, and this had finished while I was down there. Oh, man, this smells good in this house now. Oh, boy. That looks good, too. You see, I think it fell a little bit, but not like before. I think the problem before was the uh, water was too hot. So let's get that out of there see what our hard work looks like. Still steaming hot. That's what I like to see. So, it's not a bad looking loaf. I'd say it fell a little bit right here, but when we cut into that you'll see like the other one, uh, it's gonna be okay. So, there you go folks. We're gonna let this uh, cool for an hour and we'll see what it looks like on the inside. All right, we're back. We're about 25 minutes early here because I can't wait. I'm hungry. Let's get this uh, bread paddle out of here a little bit. There we go. Bread paddle out. That's some good looking bread inside of there. There you go. Well developed. It looks very nice, very spongy. Nice crust to it. It's a nice crackle. Mmm. And that's rye bread right there. Very good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's gonna do it right there. That's the correct seed. Hmm. It's amazing what happens when you don't follow typos in the book. <laughs> anyway. That's good. This is definitely a keeper. So where I might go with this to kick it up is, uh, I might try adding, uh, one cup of whole wheat flour and replacing one of the, um, bread flour cups. That might really add some complexity. Mmm. I'm gonna call that a win. Nice. I like it when a plan comes together. Everybody have a good week. Go out and make bread. And do push-ups.